The story of Elijah and the prophets of Baal is a pivotal moment in the history of Israel, demonstrating the power of God and the dangers of idolatry. The narrative unfolds during a drought that plagued Israel for three years, a consequence of King Ahab and his wife Jezebel's promotion of Baal worship over the true God. Elijah, the prophet of God, confronts King Ahab and challenges him to a spiritual showdown on Mount Carmel. He calls for all of Israel to gather. Along with the 450 prophets of Baal and the 400 prophets of Asherah, Elijah addresses the people, asking them to choose between serving the Lord or Baal. He then proposes a contest. Each side will prepare a bull as an offering, and the God who answers with fire from the sky will be declared the true God. The prophets of Baal begin their ritual, calling out to their God from morning until noon. They dance and cut themselves, but Baal remains silent. Elja mocks them, suggesting that Baal is perhaps busy, asleep, or on a journey. Despite their frantic efforts, Baal does not answer. Elijah then calls the people to him and repairs the altar of the Lord. He uses twelve stones, representing the twelve tribes of Israel, and digs a trench around the altar. He places wood on the altar, lays the bull on top, and has the people pour twelve large jars of water over the sacrifice, soaking the wood and filling the trench. Elijah then prays to God, asking for a sign to show the people that he is the true God. God answers immediately. Fire falls from heaven and consumes the burnt offering, the wood, the stones, and the dust, even licking up the water in the trench. The people of Israel, witnessing the miracle, bow down and declare the Lord as God. Elijah then commands the people to put the prophets of Baal to death, by God's command. The Lord ends the drought following this event and sends rain upon the land. The story of Elijah and the prophets of Baal highlights the importance of choosing to serve the true God and the consequences of idolatry. It demonstrates God's power and willingness to answer his faithful servant's prayer.